for everyone to come together Jet, I need your help. all the way here. from uh, Hong here. Kong and the Philippines. Ayan. So, welcome everyone dito po sa ating uh, quick share orientation. Uh, magandang hapon sa mga kapastoran. Yung mga facilitators, masisipag na mga facilitators na kasama natin. And for all who are first time sa Evangelism Explosion, at sa quick share, I would like to welcome everyone in the name of Evangelism Explosion Philippines. Ayan. You are now joining an online orientation for quick share training. Ayan. So, huwag kayo mag-alala. I'll try my best to uh, uh, deliver yung orientation natin as quick as I can. And kung meron po kayong tanong, Huwag po kayong mahiya na uh, magtanong mamaya towards the end. Uh, just allow me to just proceed no, para mabilis tayo. Tapos sa bandang dulo ko ay meron tayong question and answer time. Okay? So mahiling lang po kung isa para hindi tayo magulo. Okay, uh, make sure na naka-off po yung inyong mga microphones. Ano po? Uh, para wala tayong interference. Tapos mamaya pag may question kayo, that's the time that you can open your microphone para po makakarinigan tayo. Ayan, sige. So, shall we start in a word of prayer? Tayo po'y manalangin. Lord, salamat sa privilege of coming together. Salamat po na you have gathered us virtually, coming from different churches, different locations, and we're happy that we're here this afternoon para po pag-usapan ang uh, mahalagang ministeryo ng pag-ibanghelyo at pagbibisipulo. Gabayan niyo po ang inyong mga lingkod. Kasama ang mga kapastoran, ang mga facilitators, at ikit sa lahat ang mga first time sa quick share, yung mga papasok na mga students. Give us understanding and together gawin mo kaming strong force to uh, move forward, bring the lost people sa iyong panahin. Is we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so let me just share. Yeah. Okay. Sige po. So again po, paki-mute lang po yung mga microphone sa as I proceed. Yeah. Again, sa ngala ng Evangelism Explosion Philippines, welcome po sa ating quick share orientation. Simulan po natin dito sa maiksing video. Philippines po ay nandito para
para tulungan po ang mga Filipino congregations worldwide para tayo po ay magkakatuwang na umabot ng mga lost souls and thereby uh, fulfill the great commission of the Lord Jesus Christ. So commitment po natin yan kung saan merong Filipino congregations. Of course, majority nasa Philippines pero kung saan man sila sa buong mundo ay uh, nais natin silang uh, tulungan. And before I proceed sa uh, pagtalakay po sa quick share, uh, para sa mga first time sa evangelism explosion, ang evangelism explosion po ay marami po tayong varieties of training materials. So ngayon po na medyo maluwag-luwag na kaysa sa dati, meron tayong mga printed materials na hindi natin ginagawa dito sa online na you can uh, avail later no kung interested po kayo. Meron din po para sa mga bata. So, iba't iba po yan. Merong materials para i-win yung mga Muslims. Meron tayong materials para i-win yung mga uh, sabihin natin, oral learners. Hindi sila marunong bumasa, sumulat, but they can tell a story. May materials din tayo para sa kanila. And for this afternoon, we'll just focus explaining about quick share para pagtapos po nito, naintindihan na ninyo yung papasukin na training na gagawin po natin. No? In fact, after this, kung gusto nyo pong umatras, pwede pa rin. No? <laughs> so, hindi po porque umatin ng orientation ay mandatory, kailangan umatin ng training. At least, nagkaroon kayo ng understanding. And, of course, mas maganda kung after this ay uh, tutuloy kayo dun sa training. Okay? So, let me just uh, proceed. This is the simple description that we have for this training. Uh, QuickShare is an online witnessing training of evangelism explosion Philippines. As simple as that. And uh, ito po ay pinanganap noong uh, May 2020. Uh, pag, pagsimula ng pandemic, several months lang, nagkaroon tayo ng QuickShare. Wala po ito sa dati at original na materials. Kumbaga, nag-evolve siya because of crisis nitong pandemic. So since then, salamat sa Panginoon kasi... We were able to win and share the gospel more than 30,000 people already ang nakarinig ng gospel sa pamagitan po ng uh, quick share. Kaya naman, salamat sa Panginoon dahil uh, magdadalawang taon, uh, dalawang taon na po na ating ginagamit itong uh, uh, materials na ito. And this material is now present in 15 different countries. Kasama po, syempre, ang Kong at saka ang Italy. Okay, moving on. Ito po yung ilan sa mga goals natin. Una sa lahat, ay nais po natin i-train uh, primarily mga pastors and church leaders. So we have pastors here. Si Pastor Joseph, I appreciate kasi uh, masipag na facilitator natin yan. Silang dalawang mag-asawa si Spiritual. And uh, yun ang kagandahan. When we train pastors, pastors will then uh, train their congregations kasi po, hindi po namin gustong agawan ng role yung mga pastors sa kanila mga churches kaya, uh, first of all, we concentrate on the pastors now, of course, hindi lang naman pastor yung gusto natin i-train no? ang gusto natin din, yung mga ordinary believers, or we call them lay people that uh, they learn how to witness or share the gospel Lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemic, no? dyan sa Hong Kong may search, kaya uh, hindi kayo basta nakakalabas, makahigpit. Ano? And uh, paano yun? Pag ganun, hindi tayo magsishare ng gospel. Pwede pa rin. Pamagitan ng uh, quick share, you can uh, comfortably share the gospel habang nasa bahay, o nasa workplace, o kung saan man kayo nandun, as long as you have your gadget with you. Yan ang kagandahan dito sa quick share. Okay, so objectives natin, bawat isa po sa atin will learn a handy, simple, and easy to use online witnessing tool. So, hindi ba, uh, uh, kagaya niyan, yung telepono natin, nung araw wala namang cellphone eh. Nasa, naiiwan lang sa bahay yung mga telepono. Eventually, nag-evolve, na-improve, ngayon very handy na kung saan tayo nandun, nandun yung cellphone. At ngayon ka namang mga cellphone ay smartphone na. Uh, hindi na lang siya pang tawag, hindi na lang siya pang text. No? Kalendaryo na rin siya, planner na rin siya, notepad na rin siya, 
uh, video uh, I mean, uh, pwede ka na manood ng video In fact, pwede ka na mag-aral using your gadget no? Kaya, smartphone na siya So, gusto nating sabayan yung technology na yan na kung you have the gadget, then you can have a handy uh, tool at gusto natin simple, easy to use But that doesn't mean automatic, alam na natin, no? So, medyo kailangan din aarali ng konti. Now, another beauty, uh, objective natin dito is that each of you will have an opportunity to share the gospel to at least five. Palagay ko naman, sa dami ng mga friends ninyo sa FD, meron doon kahit lima man lang na hindi pa nakakakilala sa Panginoon, either kamag-anak, kaibigan, or baka na-connect lang sa inyo dyan sa FB na maaaring hindi nyo nga alam ba't nga ba friend ko ito sa FB. No? So, at least lima sa kanila, isimulan nyo ng panalangin para ma-share yung gospel sa kanila. Another objective is that each participant, at least yung magdi-desire po, no? at saka yung mag-qualify. Pagka kayo po yung nakatapos dito sa ating training, ay pwede ho kayong makatuwang namin, gaya nila Pastor Joseph, Sister Rachel, no, na nagpa-facilitate ng mga quick share classroom, ayan sila Adeline, at yung mga facilitators natin sa Hong Kong, uh, I cannot mention all of your names, but uh, I am thankful na may mga uh, tao na voluntarily ay gusto matrain yung mga kapwa mananampalataya nila from their church. So, if you happen to desire the same, at uh, natapos kayo ng quick share, do not worry kasi uh, dadating tayo dyan para ma-equip kayo in order for you to uh, also train others using quick share. Okay, pag-usapan natin ang ilang pertinent. No? Uh, mahalagang tanong siguro, gaano ba katagal yung training na yan? Ang sagot po dyan, mabilis lang po itong training na ito. Pwede nating tapusin ang dalawang linggo Pwede rin namang isang buwan. Ang ibig sabihin po niyan, flexible, uh, pagka sinunod natin by schedule, in two weeks time tapos. Pero, dahil baka busy kayo, or yung iba medyo nahihirapan mag-adjust sa technology, walang problema, we can adjust the training hanggang one month. Kasalukuyan po, meron akong ginagawang quick share training sa Green Hills Christian Fellowship sa Ortigas. And we have 66 trainees ng quick share doon. Magmula sa kanilang senior pastor, si Dr. Pabiona, ay mga pastor nila, sila Pastor BJ Sebastian, all the way hanggang sa mga elders, deacons, at yung kanilang church staff. Yun ang first batch namin. Ay, uh, Sorry, ay, Pastor Ray. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we have an Indian missionary in the Philippines. Uh, he's belonging to the group of Pastor Nono. He just in and he said, can you switch to English? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The name is uh, Brother okay. Kaushik. Okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, letting me know. Okay, uh, para sa mga Filipino, mag-shift po tayo, ha? Okay, good afternoon. Welcome for our uh, Indian brethren who are joining us this afternoon. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, you're joining Quick Share Orientation, and this is the Ministry of Evangelism and Explosion of uh, Philippines. I just explained about the uh, some aspect, uh, objective, and uh, uh, goals of this training. Now I am uh, at this point explaining about some pertinence uh, regarding this training. So the first thing that I would like to share is the uh, duration of the training. So if you're asking, how long will it be? Well, the answer is, this training is very short, relatively short. It can go two weeks and it can be extended up to one month. Considering that some people are busy or others are, you know, having a hard time uh, adjusting from the traditional training going to digital platform. And we do understand that. Another question is, are we, are you going to charge us? How much are we going to pay? Well, the answer is no registration fee. Evangelism Explosion Philippines is very generous to offer quick share ever since we started it in May of 2020. We're 
offering quick share 100% free. Yes, so don't worry, we will not charge you even a single cent. This is absolutely free. And the good news is this free, but you will also receive certification. After the uh, two week or one month training, we will be sending you. If you successfully finish the training, we will be sending you a digital certificate. Maybe you are wondering what is the certificate? Uh, what's the importance of certificate? Well, number one, the certificate speaks about quality of training. Okay? So, meaning you will not be given certificate unless you pass the standard. Okay? Second, this certificate will give you an opportunity to minister in uh, in a way that uh, for example when God gives an opportunity for you to visit another country or should we say you migrate from the Philippines to Hong Kong for example since we have a strong ministry of evangelism in Hong Kong then you just show your certificate that you graduated from QuickShare and you would want to implement QuickShare in Hong Kong or in any of the two more than 200 nations with uh, EE ministry present, then you will be allowed to uh, do ministry under evangelism explosion. That's what we mean by certification. So that also means that this training is a world-class training. So congratulations to all who will be joining this training. Moving on, let's talk about technical requirements. Okay, as you join QuickShare, you'll be needing uh, gadgets okay because we this is in digital form so we need to understand some of the technicalities first of all if you will uh, be using pc or uh, computer or uh, if you'll be using macintosh okay like macbook or macbook pro then uh, here's that you need to know first Make sure that it's a working computer with internet access, regardless of brand, regardless of specification, for as long as it's working and it can access the internet, then so be it. Second, you need a personal Gmail account. When I say personal Gmail account, it should be your Gmail account, not someone else's Gmail account. If you don't have one, just visit google.com and in like two minutes or less, you can have one, okay? Now, there are cases that you possess a Gmail from your company, okay? That means the uh, your Gmail address doesn't say gmail.com, but it's a Google account after all. Uh, I'm sorry we need a personal Gmail. So for you to know that it's a personal Gmail, it should say example at gmail.com, something like that, okay? So personal Gmail account. Another thing, if you'll be using computer or laptop, you don't need to uh, download or install any application. All you need to do is to open your internet browser. Some examples are Edge, Firefox, Safari, or Google Chrome, or many other uh, internet browsers. If you have your favorite uh, internet browser, then you can use it. It will work, okay? Now, what if you'll be using your tablet, like iPad, or Galaxy Tab, or uh, uh, some, some tablets, no? or your cell phone, for that matter? What do I need to know? First, it should be a working gadget or smartphone with internet connection. So again, regardless of brand, regardless of, uh, uh, you know, price or specification, for as long as it can be used and it can connect uh, to the internet, that's fine. Second, personal Gmail account. Just like what I have said a while ago when you will be using computer or uh, laptop. No? Uh, but 
here, the difference is you need to, uh, to install two applications. So while I'm speaking, I encourage you to visit uh, Google Play Store if you're using an Android device. Or if you're using iPhone or iPad, you can visit Apple Store. And then search for Google Classroom and Google Slide. And you can start downloading and installing it your gadget because I tell you you cannot start and you cannot uh, join this training without that two applications by the way I am now experimenting uh, I'll be opening a uh, quick share training using uh, FB page private FB page I'm experimenting it in a church na wala silang mga uh, they don't have the uh, not all of them have gadgets, but they can all access uh, FB. So I, I'm I'm trying to uh, make one for this group. If it succeeds, then probably we will offer it to all of us later. So please pray for me. Let's talk about the platform of this training. Number one, Quick Share operates using Google Classroom as our online training platform. Okay, meaning uh, that's the reason why we need your Gmail account because we will be operating under the uh, Google structure, particularly Google Classroom. Also, this Google Classroom is cloud-based, meaning you can access your quick share materials in any computers, even if you will just uh, borrow one or you can go to Internet Cafe for as long as you just simply log in your Google account, don't forget to log out afterwards, of course, no? You can access your quick share materials because this is cloud-based. Now, if some of you are a bit worried, Pastor Ray, will it affect the speed or performance of my gadget or computer? The answer is no. Because it will not require storage space in your computer or mobile device. What I mean, what do I mean by that? You will not be required to uh, download and store anything in your machine or in your device. It's your option. I mean, you can finish the training without downloading anything except for two applications. So I'm sure of one thing. It will not require storage space in your computer or mobile device, okay? And I hope that sounds like a good news to everyone. Now, let's talk about the training curriculum. By the way, the training materials is available in three major dialects in the Philippines. Mainly English, Tagalog, and Cebuano. So, for our Indian friends who are joining us this afternoon, so we have an English material, okay? Now, what's included in the training? Number one, we'll give you a quick share overview. So we start with the overview to give you further understanding what quick share is all about. And then we will teach you how to connect to people. Connecting with people, especially unbelievers, is not an easy thing. So we will guide you how to do that. Third, we will also help you uh, determine if uh, the person you're talking to is uh, a person that needs to hear the gospel or if the person already have assurance of eternal life. We will help you do just like that. Number four, explaining the gospel. Evangelism Explosion is known for having a very, you know, strategic uh, outline of presenting the gospel. But for those who have backgrounds with Evangelism Explosion, I have a good news that Quick Share is the shortest, okay? The shortest uh, Evangelism Explosion presentation ever. Number five will also teach you how to lead the person in receiving the gift of eternal life. And then after that, we'll teach you how to use the Assurance Card. It speaks about uh, you know, guiding the person to be assured of their own salvation and uh, for us to do immediate follow-up with them. 
Now, if you, have, you happen to accomplish all of the six things, then we will give you an opportunity to fill up the uh, covenant form and then in return, we will send you the digital certificate. Okay, so we only have seven steps for this training. So in two weeks time, you can finish it. Or again, as I have told you, we can extend up to one month. Now let's talk about the training components. What are the things that we need to understand in order for us to survive in this training? Number one, we will have virtual lecture, okay? Now, uh, what do we mean by virtual lecture? The teacher or facilitator doesn't need to set time to deliver a lecture to his or her students, meaning it's not a Zoom meeting or a Google Meet meeting like what we're doing now, video conferencing. No, not like this. As a matter of fact, each session in your quick share material comes with a short video lecture and session handout where you as a disciple or student can take down notes okay now the good thing with this is uh, you can accomplish all of the lessons that we have within the duration of the training and okay listen to this students can work on their tasks any time of the day, any time of the day, for as long as they meet the due dates set by their teacher facilitator. Meaning to say, this is more of asynchronous. Okay? So when we say asynchronous, the only time that we will be having Zoom meeting is today, and then the next one will be on the graduation day. Okay, that is if <laughs> you will finish the training. Okay, that's the only time. So, I hope it sounds like a good news that whenever you want to go through the training and then listen to the lecture, all you need to do is to click the link and then listen to the presentation. You want to understand more, you can repeat, uh, uh, repeat the process, do it over and over again until you understand the content of the lecture. The second component is reading, meditation, and discussion. We believe that the scripture is very powerful in motivating the hearts of people who are going through the training when it comes to evangelism and discipleship. So scripture texts are pre-assigned in each topic for reading and meditation purposes. So discussion questions are also provided so each of you can share your insight which will be visible to the whole class meaning when I answer for example each of you will see and uh, read my answer okay don't be shy because uh, uh, you know all of you will be required to answer and uh, don't worry because we're not encouraging you to critique each one's answer but you know you, you can react uh, with each other's responses for the purpose of healthy discussion, not a debate, okay? Remember that, for a healthy discussion and not a debate. I mean, you're not required to react, but you can. This, this is the interactive part of our training. The third component is what we call action step, or otherwise known as on-the-job training for evangelism explosion. Since this is an online training, most of the on-the-job training will be done online. That is through social media. Like, you can use your FB Messenger. You can use your Messenger Room, Google Meet, okay, or WhatsApp, or whatever uh, social media platform that you are used to. Then you can use it to reach out to your unbelieving friends and family members except for those who are staying with you to whom you can share the gospel in person or face to face okay now we have uh, report forms included in uh, uh, section C or components letter C uh, that is the action step in your materials later on you can see it during the uh, 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 video tutorials okay 
The on-the-job training can be done by a chat conversation, or you can do it like this, uh, by a video call to your friend, uh, depending on the agreement that you have with your contacts. Or, uh, you know, you can do it individually, or sometimes in a group. But I discourage you to do it with a group because you need to ask them one by one. So it's time-consuming, it's more distracting sometimes. So if you want a meaningful conversation, I, I encourage you to do it on an individual basis or for a couple, for example, or if they are married. Okay? So all of your experiences should be reported back to us by filling up the forms. So as you can see in the screen, we have 2C, 3C, 4C, 5C, and 6C. Those, uh, uh, you know, refers to the forms, report forms, uh, in each and every lessons that you will be going through. And you can support it by sending us an attachment of pictures, video, or screenshots of your actual witnessing activities. That way, we can double check if you're doing it under the standard of quick share or you just reported it to us that you have done so but uh, you know uh, doing it the other way around and then uh, component letter D or the fourth component is practice and demonstration okay let me tell you this the first thing we uh, develop and release quick share we don't have component letter D only A, B and C and D but later on, we have seen the importance of practice and demonstration. So we included this, and the inclusion is the presentation outline and demonstration video. Now, what's the beauty of this? The beauty of this is that you can watch over and over again in a demonstration video so that you can familiarize yourself on how to do it in an actual situation. So, good news, if you will enroll in an English class, then you will see a demonstration in English. If you will enroll in Tagalog, then the uh, uh, language will be in Tagalog or in Cebuano. Okay? Now, we have supplement materials for the students, so we will send it to you so that you can read and uh, prepare yourself for the training. And for those who are not comfortable in reading but you can learn by watching video uh, like watching in a YouTube we have prepared video tutorial so you just watch at the comfort of your home uh, during your free time so that you can learn how to navigate your quick share materials don't worry about that we will send it to you or your facilitator will send it to you now before I end before I end, let me just share some testimonials. First is from Dr. Rene Agenza, former CBAP Secretary General. He said, Quick Share is an amazing tool that enables me to train others in reaching out to the gospel while on lockdown. Dr. Rene Agenza is a member of the Board of Evangelism Explosion Philippines. In fact, He's my first teacher at EE back in 1994. But uh, as far as QuickShare is concerned, he's one of the first uh, students of mine back in uh, May of 2020. He's a senior citizen, and uh, the first time he learned about QuickShare, he's complaining with me. <laughs> and he, he keeps on calling me even in the middle of the night just to inquire about how to do this and that. And then eventually, he learned and he became an expert in this area. And as a matter of fact, he's God's instrument bringing quick share in Hong Kong and in Italy and in many other nations. Okay? Macau. I'm thankful, yes, in Macau. And so I'm thankful with the life of uh, Dr. Ne Agenza. And uh, uh, from May of 2020, up to August last year, he was able to handle more than 60 classrooms. And all of our facilitators here are fruit of his, uh, you know, diligent labor in the Lord during pandemic. But uh, Dr. Ne Atienza is not here with us today because 
uh, he's gone with the Lord last uh, August last year and uh, he and his wife sister Stella uh, were victims of uh, COVID uh, and uh, of course we're very sorry about that but it's God's timing for them to go home already and uh, remembering his life wow he's very passionate in as far as evangelism is concerned and so uh, there's no reason for senior citizens not to learn quick share there's no reason for people who are not that techy not to learn a uh, quick share because dr neachensa exemplifies how to witness and train others even if he's old at the age of 74. Another example is a Chinese minister here in Manila, the Reverend Leo Jaime Son, DNET country director. He said, it's amazing to rekindle my passion and confidence to share the gospel with E. Quick Share, and even greater to see the same passion surfacing among our students. Thank you, E.E., e., for producing such an amazing tool. He's now uh, recommending it with people who are going through TNET uh, training here in the Philippines. Another example is Pastor Nobel Polanco from Vigan City. He said, I'm indeed grateful that through this new platform, I was able to continue in the ministry and multiply myself in obedience to the Great Commission. If I will just share with you the many testimonies from all around the world how quick share has been an instrument during this pandemic you will be you know blessed and you will see the amazing amazing work of god but we don't have the luxury of time to get all their testimonies i'm sure after going through the training you will have your own story to tell the uh, uh bishop of pcec bishop noel panto appreciates what evangelism explosion is doing even during the starting point and up to this present because uh, uh, evangelism explosion philippines did not stop in equipping even during the height of pandemic and were we continue to do so even up to this moment because this is very important in the kingdom of god now as i end I would like to encourage everyone to please visit our social media page and please like and subscribe so that you will be updated with what God is doing in the ministry. Especially that we now uh, have just launched the uh, second batch of Hope for Kids in a Box. This is a special materials of training children elementary grade on how to share the gospel. And we also offer it for free. So if you're interested, just get in touch with us. Also, we have a new website, eefield.org. Okay, you can visit our website so that you can be informed uh, of the uh, happenings in our ministry. Also, I would like to everyone to be informed that eventually maybe you're asking, how come that Evangelism Explosion can offer a free training like Quick Share? or hope for kids in a box they must be very very rich yes we are rich in the lord because there are people who are you know generous to support the ministry people who have gone through the training and they appreciate the training and now they go back to us and they support the ministry so if you happen to be blessed after the training then remember evangelism explosion and we will welcome your support so that we can continue the ministry and offer more free trainings in the future uh, to our brethren worldwide. You can also send your support, not just by a bank. You can also visit the website and there's a donate button. If you have PayPal account, you have credit card, you can also do that in our website. Don't worry, it's a secure website. So you will not uh, uh, need to worry about your information. Okay, so I think that's all for now you can contact evangelism explosion uh, philippines do not hesitate to call our attention for help you can reach us by a messenger or email and we will be happy to answer your inquiry now we will now open the floor for question and answer anybody would like to uh, ask question or clarification pastor 
Yes. Isa ko na. Kung pwede pong yung, isan ko sa inyo mamaya, baka po pwede i-open nyo na yung mga classes mamaya. And then if you could uh, uh, give us the lesson one, ano lang naman po yun, di ba? Yung parang, ano lang, uh, yung questionnaire lang yun, di ba? Kasi it will take siguro a day or two para mapag-aralan yung pagbukas ng classroom <laughs> mm-hmm. ng mga ibang klase. So siguro, i-open nyo po yung class bukas. So, bigay ko sa inyo mamaya ng deadline natin muna yung una. Parang trial lang muna sa mga hindi pa hindi pa familiar dun sa sa technology hanggang Wednesday pag nag okay na tsaka na lang siguro sa yung po okay yun lang po from my side okay uh Lynn is actually uh, uh requesting that if I can prepare the classroom as soon as I get the list from her uh I'll, I'll try my best as soon as I get the final list then uh, we'll prepare the classroom and uh, we'll send it to uh, the assigned facilitators. So the assigned facilitators, please uh, uh, visit your, your email address from time to time so that you can be aware of the invitation that we will be uh, sending you. Then uh, uh, in the stream section, I'm going to include right away the uh, tutorials for the students so that they can watch it over and over again that they can familiarize themselves on how to navigate their uh, student uh, materials or the student portal, okay? But the sending of uh, the posting of the lessons will uh, depend on the facilitators. I leave it to you, okay? You have been equipped uh, to do that. So I just prepare the classroom and then uh, pre- uh, prepare the uh, uh, attachment, the PDF and the video tutorial in the stream section so for as long as uh, the students will confirm the invitation from the teachers or facilitators, then you will have access on that uh, as soon as possible. Okay, uh, Brother Koshik is raising his hand. Do you have any question? Brother? You're raising your hand, but the coke sheet. Open your mic. And Can you hear me, Pastor Ray? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear. Sorry. Clear. Uh, thank you for your sharing. I have a quick question. That is, uh, you said you will be doing this in three languages, English, Tagalog, and Cebuano. So if I want to join the English, uh, how do I get involved? Or is it all together? I, I, I didn't get it very clear. You are in my class, Koshik. You are in my class. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh, Koshik, uh, I said that the materials is available in English. It is also available in Tagalog. It is also available in Cebuano. That means uh, each one is independent in itself. Like if you enroll in English all together from the beginning to end, it will be pure English. If you enroll in Tagalog, it will be pure Tagalog from beginning to end. And same is true with SIP 1. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Any more? Yung mga Pilipino po, you can speak Tagalog. <laughs> Baka hindi tuloy makapagtanong dahil. Kaushik is learning Tagalog because uh, he's in Manila. It's actually uh, my neighbor here in we will, but he's a missionary now in the Philippines together oh. with the family. Under Pastor Nono as well. Where are you here in the Philippines, Koshik? Uh, please unmute yourself. We are living at Quezon City, Pastor Ed, at, uh, oh, at SIL. Near, yes, near, near my place. I'm in Caloocan City. So, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, one city away. One day we let's meet please, and let's please, uh, let's, uh, let's meet up yeah, over a cup of coffee. Or I can make some Indian curry for you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we have that. Let's let's meet up. Okay. So any more? 
Tagalog po. You can speak Tagalog. Ayan, iniwanan na tayo ni Coach. Pastor, kasi ano, meron siyang meeting ng SIG. Sabi ko, pwede siyang mag-leave kasi ako nalang magpapala sa kanya. Silang dalawang yeah. mag-asawa are in my class. Okay, malaya na tayo. Pwede na po mag-Tagalog. May salamat. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> na matako. Sige, huwag talita na. Pastor Ray, question. Sige po, Pastor Joseph. Um, before po ba, no? before uh, mag-open ng class, Ah, uh, kunin niyo po ba yung preference ng bawat estudyante kung English or Tagalog sila? Kasi ay ah. nagkaroon ako ng experience before na ano, gusto pala nung estudyante Tagalog ay eh, nai-enroll sa English. So, oh. ano kaya ang paano ng solution? Paano ang solution natin? <laughs> okay, ganito po. Ah, uh, uh, I leave it to the facilitator. Sa libawa po, meron na kong uh, Kunyari, ako po yung facilitator, no? And I have like 10 recruits. I'll ask my 10 recruits kung ano po yung preferred nila. Let's say, four of them gusto English. Pagsasama-samahin ko po sila sa isang English classroom and the rest sa Tagalog. So, bali dalawang classroom yung pwede nyo i-request na, na classroom sa akin. So, walang problema po doon. Ah... Uh, it's for you to determine dahil uh, kayo po ang nag-recruit ng mga students. So, sa mga students naman na nandito, tell your facilitators ano po ang preferred ninyo para yun po ang ipapahanda na classroom kay Pastor Ray at dun po kayo i-invite kung Tagalog or English. Salamat Pastor Joseph for clarifying. Talagang nangyayari po yan na baka napasok sila ng English then hindi pala sila komportable doon. And kasi merong sadyante ng dito sa LABC before, sa English siya, eh gusto gusto niya yung Tagalog. So, after every lesson, so, nagsisend pa ako sa kanya ng Tagalog para mas ma, ma ano niya, eh, it's a, every lesson yun, every week yun, nagsisend pa ako sa kanya na, kasi yung sa akin naman, Tagalog naman yung students ko. Kaya, ano, Nagkaroon ako, meron akong copy ng Tagalog. Yes, eh. Ayan, so leave me uh, take note para yung i-request mong classroom ay mas masipay natin sino sila ng Tagalog, sino-sino yung assigned facility. I-PM na lang nila ako kung gusto nila ng Tagalog or English. Yes, si Arvin. Pero, <laughs> Arvin, nagkataas ng kamay. Oh, good afternoon po, Pastor Ray. As lang po namin, since for first time po namin, ilan po namin malalaman yung opinion ng facilitator namin? At possible po ba na since one church po kami na youth po kami ng MCC, magkakaiwahe wala yung po ba kami? Or one, ano lang po kami? One, uh, one class with one facilitator po? I think, Arvin, ang inyong facilitator ay si Pastor Joseph. Kayong anin. Thank you po. Ayaw nyo ba siya? O gusto Hindi po. Gusto po. Gusto po na. Kaya 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 po na. Hindi. Kung sino nag-recruit sa inyo. Siya. Facilitator nyo. Atalin. And. Ay. Atalin yung mga babae. Pwede kay Ching. Anim na kita eh. Ilan nga ba yung babae sa inyo, Arvin? Salam po. Ay, sana. Ah, pwede naman eh. Sige, okay lang. Pwedeng one-on-one. Walang problema. Sige na lang kay Ching. Kasi merong isa si Ching. Diba? Si Angelo. Ching. Ano na po yun ate, bibigay ko siya kay Awi, siya po yung magiging facilitator. Ah, si Awi. Oh, sige, si uh, siya po yung naging student ko before na graduate ah, so na siya. Facilitator na siya ngayon. So yung okay. babae dito ay sino? Sa anin? Maricar. Yung ba- eh, si Maricar ate, si Maricar. Ah, alin dito ang kanya ano, email address? Yung admiration? Uh, ma- hindi po. Mag-change na lang po ako si company email ko yung naibigay ko. Ah, okay. Uh, Oo, oh, si okay. Send na lang kay Richel o kay Pastor Joseph. Okay, okay. Ayan yung mga question lang po. Go ahead, go ahead. As a first time here po, pwede po bang namin malaman kung how many lessons po and then upon all JT po, tama po ba? We need at least five po na mapag-sharean online or using the picture po. Okay, salamat sa tanong. Kagaya po nang na-discuss natin, actually limang lessons lang po yun, no? There are seven steps. Yung una, overview. Tapos yung huli ay uh, uh, covenant na yun. So, lima lang talaga yung lessons in two weeks and up to one month. Uh, 
Tapos limang limang uh, presentation ng gospel. Pwedeng lumagpas sa limang tao yung masashare ninyo kasi halimbawa first attempt dalawa yung nakinig. So one count lang 'yon. Okay? So hindi porket isang presentation limang tao tapos na. So ibig sabihin you will have opportunities to share even more than five people uh, during the course of the training. Okay po, thank you po. Welcome. Pastor Ray, yes, uh, clarification, kasi di ba may dapat lima ang 